Well, we met at Cold Spring Harbor, where we both worked, and uh, we were looking for a place that we could get two jobs together, and we came here when the hutch was in its infancy, when they were trying to fill up the building, and so they would um, go for two jobs at once. And um, it's mostly great. The thing is, you sort of never leave your work behind um, when you're married to someone who does something similar to you. So, you know, you're talking about it when you're at home and the other person completely understands it. Um, and there can be times when it's a little uneven. You know, if one person gets a grant and the other person doesn't, it can be a little tricky. Um, but uh, overall, it was good. Um, I guess I can say that working on in cancer research doesn't prevent you from getting cancer. Uh, that my husband was my partner in research, uh, also worked on virus-associated cancers, and um, was diagnosed with a stage four cancer when it was already metastatic throughout the liver, and there was really no opportunity to do uh, for any sort of treatment. And um, that's been incredibly painful. I think the hardest thing for me was, since, since we devoted our lives to try to understand cancer, nothing was learned from his. N not a thing. Because, um, you know, he, he only had like a needle biopsy of a metastasis in his liver, and it was too little to do anything other than some staining. And so, you know, there was no tissue. There was no um, molecular analysis. And, I mean, certainly it, at that time, we didn't sequence tumors regularly. So nothing was learned. It was just a complete, you know, it happened and, and he died and that was it. And that's very frustrating if you're a scientist that you think that, you know, even if it's not something that benefited him directly, you'd like it to be something that contributes to the knowledge of how we would go forward with that type of cancer treatment. And so it, it's just frustrating that nothing, nothing was learned at all.